I'm at the house at 7207 Caddo Lake Drive in the greens at Wood Lake Subdivision. I'm going to give you 360 of the neighborhood here. This is a gated community. It also has a community pool. This subdivision is off of I-10 between 410 and 1604 off of Foster Road. So you're close to Randolph Air Force Base and Fort Sam Houston. Got some uh, nice mature, a nice mature tree here, some nice landscaping in the front. Gonna give you a look inside. This is a four bedroom, two bath, single story home. Square footage is roughly 2,237 square feet. If you look inside here, we got towel entry. Now the layout of this home, from the front here we got the living room, dining room, straight back kitchen, and then all the way in the back the family room. To the right are going to be the bedrooms. So let's start here in the front of the house. We got the formal living room space, uh, dining room combination here. Or if you don't use a formal dining, you can make this one huge living room. To the right is the uh, fourth bedroom optional office. I'm going to kind of lay this out because the floor plan is very open. There's a couple of ways to go here. Here's another hallway and beyond the fridge is yet one more doorway to cut through to the bedroom. So let's start here at the front. Got the double doors and then a door going out to the hallway through there. This does have a uh, closet and window so this could be used as a fourth bedroom or an office there is some light uh, stains on the carpet uh, in the house but the carpets have been professionally cleaned as i'm going to give you a peek here that's the hallway to the bedrooms so we're going to start off on this side of the house to make it kind of uh, one pass through the house we have a coat closet there. We got tile floors, very open kitchen. We got ceiling fans. Uh, it looks like uh, Corian, I believe that's Corian countertops. So you got nice solid countertops. Um, you got the water dispenser there for your drinking water. You got lots and lots of cabinet space. You have uh, your stove. Let me just turn around here as I walk here. Some more cabinets there, you got the uh, refrigerator and you have a nice built-in desk with additional cabinet space. Here is your eat-in area, so if you don't need the formal dining, you can use this as your eating area. And also, if you notice here is your breakfast bar, you can put some uh, tall stools there, use that as an additional eating area. Again, really open floor plan, here is your your family room, ceiling fans, and let's go to the backyard. Covered patio. I know the neighbor dog is excited to see me. Uh, we got nice mature trees, fence yard, really nice landscape in here, good size yard. And if you can see beyond the fence line here, I'm going to raise this up a little bit see if I can see. If you see the fence of this yard and the fence of the yard behind it, there is quite a big gap there. There is a um, kind of like a green belt area or utility easement area so there's no neighbor directly behind you. So that gives you a little bit of extra space. Okay, let's come back in here. As I talked about, there's a couple of ways to get to the bedrooms, but just so this isn't too confusing, I'm gonna walk back to where we left off on the first bedroom so that we can see how this floor plan lays out. Again, so here we are at the front where we have the double doors to the, op the fourth bedroom optional office. And that doorway leads here to the main hallway. 
This is the door to the garage, two car garage with a garage door opener. We also have the uh, water softener. Here is the hallway bath, so this is the second full bathroom, tile. Uh, you got the dual shower heads, nice uh, tile um, enclosure there. Here we are with the other two bedrooms, uh, bedroom number two and three. These are good sized bedrooms, this is roughly 12 feet by 12 feet, so very spacious uh, rooms for the secondary bedrooms. And they also have their own, let me show the closet space, your typical closet space here. Here is another, another bedroom, again 12 by 12, very good size. This one has a ceiling fan. And I'm going to show you the same uh, setup here on the um, closet space. So two of the bedrooms are very good size, 12 by 12. And if you see here, this is again another shortcut through the floor plan here. This is your pantry, walk-in pantry, and your washer and dryer hookups. Show this. And then I'm going to open this door to show you this is the pass-through to go to the kitchen and eat in area. So a lot of uh, little shortcuts here. This floor. And then we're gonna head off to the masters. So about 16 feet by 15 feet. So quite a good size uh, master bedroom. You could easily fit in large furniture, your king size bed, nightstands, uh, formal dresser, dresser drawers, mirror, etc. Lots of space here. Again, your ceiling fan. Nice view of your backyard. And no direct back neighbor there. And then we're going to go into the master bathroom. It's a good wide area here. You got the dual sinks. You have the um, shower enclosure. And your separate uh, tub. You got additional handrails here. So this is not wide, this is not like your uh, typical like narrow uh, bathroom, good size. Here you have uh, another, another linen closet and the master walk-in closet. This is about eight feet by about uh, five feet. So good size walk-in master closet. Uh, again, this is a four bedroom. Two bath, about 2,200 uh, 2, plus square feet. Gated community. If you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.